first uh, set the record straight. I didn't go to either IIT Madras <laughs> or uh, University of Pennsylvania. I went to NIT and I went to the Sloan School at MIT in Cambridge, Mass. But the rest of it is true. I did have a career as an investment banker. But let me start by first uh, paying my respects and acknowledging the Deputy Premier of Western Australia, the Honorable Rita Safiotti, my good friend, Parliamentary Secretary MLA, Dr. Jags, uh, the Acting Consul General, David Leggestone, the advisor to the Deputy Premier, Robbie Williamson, uh, the Trade Commissioner, Nasheed, all the assembled dignitaries, uh, industrialists, businessmen from Western Australia, from Tamil Nadu. Uh, thank you very much for being here. I have spoken at so many of these events, I worry that I'm going to repeat myself. So, uh, I'll just say that both at the country to country level, uh, the alignment geopolitically, macroeconomically, uh, demographically, and in terms of uh, the capital situation, Australia and India couldn't be closer together. Uh, I've marveled at how many Indians there are in Australia and how many of them live in marginal constituencies and how that focuses the mind of politicians all over the world. So, uh, I think that's a natural uh, movement. I'll just use this opportunity to say how rapidly the ties between Western Australia and Tamil Nadu have accelerated. It's very mind-boggling to me as I was sitting there that I think the first major visit was in June or July of 22, right? When then Deputy Premier, my good friend, the now Premier, uh, the Honorable Roger Cook, led a big delegation to Chennai. I must confess I was only invited to that as a backstop because my Chief Minister contracted COVID. And so I was asked to step in and attend a luncheon. And because I'd lived 30 years away and mostly in uh, the Western Hemisphere, I was not actually quite aware. And probably one small decision changed the course of my enlightenment and relationship, which is that I had, I had a previous commitment. And so I went to mark attendance on behalf of the Chief Minister, welcome the delegation, convey our appreciation and leave. And so when I went in, uh, I think the then Deputy Premier uh, was expecting the Chief Minister, probably was already disappointed that I came. And I went and told him, I said, I'm sorry, I'm going to be the worst kind of host. I'm going to come last and leave first because I can't stay for the lunch. And he was so courteous. He said, I understand completely, you know, we're all in public life. We have this commitment. So why don't you speak first and then you can go. And I said, no, that would be extremely rude. At least I should listen to what you have to say and then I'll speak. And that probably changed the course of at least my, uh, my family's trajectory, which I'll tell you in a minute, uh, and, and future, because had I not stayed to listen to the Deputy Premier, I was completely ignorant about the scale and uniqueness of Western Australia. It was in my day job. I was a state minister. Uh, I had been a banker. I was running a very tight financial model in a, you know, whatever, 400 billion Oz, Oz dollar economy. Uh, you know, we, we had a lot of things on our plate, and so I was not well informed. But listening to him for the five or ten minutes he spoke just resonated so deeply with me that I not only stayed, spoke, but in the 18 months since, uh, there's been a lot of changes on a lot of sides, but we've had delegation after delegation, the Speaker, a um, bunch of parliamentarians from WA, the DP became the Premier, we've had now the new DP again. I have been to Perth three times in the last 18 months. Other than my constituency, I don't think I've been anywhere else <laughs> three times in the last 18 months. So, uh, I, I joke sometimes that if I was any, uh, you know, further in, I'm already all in, if I was any further in, I'd have to quit here <laughs> and go and <laughs> move to Perth, right? So, it, it has been such a wonderful relationship because all the variables that everybody's talked about, the resources, the natural linkages, the people, the investment, the opportunity, the labor force, the skilling. Beyond all that, I think, is just the value system and the, the actual personal relationship. So, I consider uh, Roger Cook to be one of my dear friends around the world. I make it a point to go and spend time with him whenever I can. 
is always gracious and always allocates me time whenever I'm passing through or in Perth. And the, the values of the government about inclusion, about equity, about access for everybody, about caring for the weakest and the most in need, I think resonate so deeply with us in our political philosophy as a government, as a party, uh, that we have really a conjoined way of thinking about these things, and that has helped a lot. Uh, the acceleration has been tremendous. Uh, we have you know, our it &T hub represented here by Manita. We've been working a lot over there. Uh, we've signed an agreement. Um, Minister Dawson has been here a couple of times. I've met so many ministers in my tours to Western Australia. The government enjoys the great luxury of probably an unprecedented majority uh, ever since proportional representation came in. And you're able to really uh, do a lot of things that require the political will and the capability to do that. I, I see great uh, future ahead. I'm, going to see, I'm sure we're going to see more and more concrete outcomes. We have the imagine of this year coming up in a few weeks. We'll have a big delegation. We're going to focus on cybersecurity as one of our big themes. So there's a natural fit there. But I think uh, for me, uh, as brilliant and rapid as this has been, uh, to me, this is actually a life-altering kind of relationship because uh, my son has now decided to go study at the University of Western Australia, so he's going to be leaving in a week, and I'll have even more reason to come and go. And because of uh, some strange circumstances, last time I actually flew up to the Pilbara with the then DP to attend the opening of what was then the most advanced uh, magnetite mine in the world. Um, the Fortescue Group's Iron Bridge project. And that was an eye opener, and it actually uh, uh, created a lot of additional momentum in discussions with the Fortescue Group, with Dr. Andrew Forrest, which I think will lead to some interesting outcomes as well. So uh, I'm very happy that this visit is happening today. I hope that this Deputy Premier's visit will provide the same kind of acceleration that last Deputy Premier's visit. Uh, you know, provided which took us from this trajectory to this trajectory. Uh, I'm sure we'll see a lot more uh, benefits. I know that at least we're seeing some Western Australian wines in Tamil Nadu sale today. So that's at least one benefit that the people of Tamil Nadu have gotten. Uh, and I hope that uh, I get to go back, among other things, because I got to play the last time I was there. I got to play some golf at the uh, Jundla Resort, and I played the last three holes one under. So now I'm going to see if I can repeat that when I go next. But uh, thank you very much again for coming. Uh, I can't say enough good things. As I say, I'm already all in. Uh, it's a natural fit, proximity by uh, geographic location, by culture, by people, by macroeconomics, by skilling, by resources. Uh, I'm sure that a year from now we'll look back and look at this next wave. I must close by saying that it's hard to find a more driven person than the Trade Commissioner Nasheed, whose, uh, whose mother and husband are both in hospital today as we speak. And yet here she is and, uh, you know, ensuring that the program runs on track. So uh, as much as I should get any credit for it, the real credit should go to Nasheed. And, of course, to the Premier, Roger Cook, who has been kind of the initiator of a lot of these things. So thank you very much for having me. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I mean, an event, luncheon, discussions. I, unfortunately, won't be able to stay for very long, but I made it a point to be here, though it's actually a very long weekend uh, from today through Sunday, our government holidays. So I'm very happy to see the crowd is full and the, the turnout is good. just shows how much we have vested and how many arms Nasheed has twisted, probably, to get us all here. Thank you very much. <laughs>